Welcome to 1.18 Hardcore. I am really, really excited about playing Hardcore again, because it's one thing that I just love to do, and I played a... Wow, this is before Bandit Craft, I played just Hardcore. And I learned to stay alive as a whole, not so much just not picking fights, not actually staying inside sort of thing. I didn't do any of that. I basically just knew how to not do the stupidest thing that will give me the most damage. So I'll do the stupidest thing I can possibly think of and take less damage as a whole. But here we are. This one right here is my was going to be my star base. I started clearing out some space and stuff. And I love this area. I love this open lush cave here. This very exposed here, and it had a lot of wildlife in it, which I still may do something with this, because we have this. This is a basically a surface skeleton spawner, which, as long as I've played Minecraft, I have never seen one. It's just right here out in the open. You can see if you come through here, there's the other side. I didn't cut any of this. I haven't done anything to this besides put the torches down, and it would be actually pretty cool to cut a path to this space right here and I guess fill this in with water but that's a different time we'll have to set this up anyway all this coal I've had issues with coal and I don't say that as a negative thing I like the challenge of 1.18 with how difficult it is for certain things like the probability of certain wars and stuff and that's one thing that has just been frustrating but, of course, it's something new. And anytime I see coal, typically, like big patches, I will collect it. Because I just still really need it. Until I have enough bases that I can just hook some wood up. Or have an alternative for torches, which there's not very much for that. Not much in these chests, which it's fine. I, this was a gold here. And so this is where I was going to set up. And the reason why I chose not to... Which sucks is because like there's this water here, which I could have connected. This water right here actually spawns tropical fish. Is because the lush caves, which sound nice, big old caves sound nice. The problem with it is I did not like how my strip mines were turning out. They just were... Ugh. Let's get down here just so I can show you. I like to be safe in the space I'm working in. Is this it? This is it. And since there's a lush caves here, and I thought it was more rare, I guess it is. I don't know. I'm just checking my surroundings right now. Then I run into this. It it looks nice. I agree. It looks really, really nice. The problem with it is now I can't just straight mine or anything. I have to kind of cave around. And in hardcore, I prefer, or just in general, like when you just play... I like to just kind of turn something on, listen to it, and kind of just vibe out sort of thing. Whereas this, I am on my literal toes, listening, waiting for that skeleton to shoot me in the back sort of thing. And I don't want that problem. It's cool, though, because all of this is lighting up, which I am just now noticing that. that these are lighting up the cave, but... Even then, I don't want to deal with this. This is a line. Of course, I had the pillar across. I don't want to deal with any of that. I just literally want to mine. So that's why I didn't choose this space. And it still looks really nice. But I don't want it. Not in here. So my opinions on, let's say, lush caves or just caves... Oops, sorry for the interruption. Uh, something banged on my door. Of course, it's windy and storming here right now, which is fine, but the temp's going to drop. No, 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 I think tomorrow, uh, but I digress. Is, I don't, I don't feel like it adds enough to the game, to be honest with you. I think the giant just open caves and stuff are cool, but the problem with that is that now... You have all this open space, 
and there's really nothing to explore in it. There's nothing new. There's not underground villages. There's really nothing for you really to do besides basically torch the place, look for ores. That's it. It's really nothing that really enriches my game experience as a whole. I think it's neat to see the lush caves I think are cool, but it's not something that I was super excited about. Let me take this boat too. And I'll have to move all sorts of animals and stuff over here. I'm going to have to get at least a mending villager. Uh, because I've, yeah, my biggest issue is diamonds at first. Like it took me over a week. Mind you, this is over a little bit of time with unenchanted stone tools. And it just was, it was just very not fun, which I don't hate it. I don't want it to change because that's kind of one of those things that makes it so rewarding to me. I guess I'm just a glutton, but this was a chore. I think it was like 11 lines I cut this direction uh, and these couple here. And there was no nothing. I didn't pick up a diamond on this side yet. There could be some like below here, but you can see the problem here. That's why I didn't drop it down to like this level because I don't know what's under this. And I don't know if it would be worth it for me to drop it one layer. Because I've been finding other ores here. I'm just seeing if anything comes up. I found gold. Found iron. Redstone is a number one. I think at this level. Lapis. But diamonds. I know that they spawn. In less larger clusters now. But. I. I mean. I figure I would have got lucky at some point. With this. And I did over here. I think it was this line. Right here. Down there. I finally got. Two. Which I really needed the two for my enchanting setup. And then I needed the three. I needed three more for my pick to get some more seating. I had three and I needed two more. So I went exploring. Of course, I didn't find any chests with any in it. And then I just basically found one of those, you know, uh, the portals. And I just took two from there and kept on moving. Because I didn't find a lava pocket on the surface until, uh, like, after I actually found that that portal. So that's all I did to get that. And I'm, we're going to have to... Maybe I'll craft it now. I need the two diamonds. We're going to have to put this somewhere. And two... Why do I have three? I, when did I get six? Oh, I had an extra one. That's what it was. This is what I needed. This thing right here. And let's pick a place to put this and probably build something. So I did a thing. I was going to actually build on camera, but I did not uh, because this took me a little bit longer than I wanted it to, and I really didn't know what I wanted to do. I'm starting to fill in. You can see, starting to fill in my space here. I wish I had some carpet. I'm kind of just using the materials I have right now, so that's what I got. But I, you can see I enchanted one thing. It's really nothing. Efficiency four, I'm breaking three. I still need mending when I get my, you know, forever tools, but I built this monstrous thing. I still have to finish filling it, but this is my enchanting house here. Didn't know really what I wanted to do. It does do 30, obviously. Which, uh, I need some more diamonds for real. Some storage here, and then this up here. I think I might use this as storage or something. Maybe put a bed up here. I think that's what I might do instead and just make this a bedroom. Because I think I'm going to do some crops over here. And I'll have them spread out. This right here, I want to put a light over it. Kind of like it's having 
light from outside. That's why that spot's right there. From outside coming in on top of the table sort of thing. Kind of whimsical sort of thing. But I want some field here. Nothing huge. I want to keep it still close. Kind of over here. So I guess a path is going to have to get cut this direction. Around it. Or I can maybe make it. No, it has to come around the house. Because I don't want it to go through. And then like patches over here. And then have the buildings this direction. I don't want to build too much into it. I really wanted to keep it on the coast. But see, this is going to be a problem. All this sand has to go. I don't have the greatest tools. But... I think we can make it work how I kind of envision it to be. This air is really nice too, but I don't know if I want to spread out too far into this. Maybe into here and then stop over, but I think it's turning out pretty well. My next one, we're going to have to do, I think that's what it's going to be mostly is these two here. We're going to have to build a barn maybe for these, for these guys. I'm going to... I don't want them all free range, you know, I kind of want them to be farmable. So I'm going to have to dig probably down, have some hoppers and stuff under there. And I'm going to have to really expand this wheat so I can basically get some more of those. I'm going to have to get some more meat though, more than anything for these. Because I really want to keep the dogs around. I'm going to have to catch some cats too. I got a lot left to do. Um, I do hope that I continue on this area because it's really nice. I'm not really forcing it. If I don't want to record, I'm not going to. And kind of, I'm letting the builds kind of be their th their own thing. Like these, this is not in any way how I would normally build. But I'm really starting to like it as an area. I really want some more greenish buildings coming this direction soon enough. But I am liking these so far. I do hope to catch you in the next episode. And thank you for watching.